Good morning, modern steaders. Boy, that's some bright sun. The pigs are so tired from running around yesterday, huh? Good morning, girls. Is that sun shining right in your eyes? I think it is. Yeah, good morning. Did you have fun out in the pasture? Yeah. It's 42 degrees out this morning. This is awesome. Rufus, you know that's not your grain. Your grain's up at your greenhouse. You're greedy. You coming, Pluto? Come on. Last night I was mowing the hay field and I broke the mower, guys. Oh, not good. I don't know what I hit, and whatever I did hit wasn't a anything big but for some reason or somehow I shared a head off of one of the bolts that holds the blades on so today we got to fix that but this field's probably I don't know maybe about half acre or so and when we bought it it was all scrub brush it was pine trees like that big growing up in it raspberry brush and stuff like that it was not a very good field so for over the last three years, we've been bringing it back. No commercial fertilizer, no seeding. We've just been running chickens on it and mowing it. So I like to mow it a couple of times and just chop it and let the grass die back down and feed the, the lawn. What are you doing? We're going in the house, but you're staying outside. I gotta fix the mower now Now if this shaft wasn't all rusted up in there, technically you're supposed to be able to untake out your pins and then spin your wheels and drag it. I go in the house to get a rag and I come back and the chickens acclaim the mower deck. Excuse me ladies. We sheared the head right off. So we gotta try to get that bolt out now. No way, guys. No way, that's going way too easy. I don't wanna jinx it yet, but look at this. Man, you can't get any easier than that to get it apart. Look at this, so exciting. Oh wow, I did not think it was going to come out that easy. Look at that. Wow, but to have it come apart that easy? Oh, I almost lost sleep over this last night. I'm going to take this one apart just so I know what I need. I found some of the parts and pieces in the field. I got the mower blade and I got one washer. It looks like I need a couple of them. So let's see what we're gonna need. That's gonna be the hard one to find right there. Man. Okay. All right, we ran to a bunch of local parts store and nobody had the right thing. This is the closest we could come to. I'm gonna mark where I need to cut it. The reason you put the nut on first is if there's any burrs, when you back the nut off, it should take those burrs off 
and you won't have to worry about stripping your threads out when you go to put your bolt in the nut or the threads the first time. Another good thing to do is take a piece of sandpaper and kind of try to round off the edges a little bit. The cool thing about having the goats is, if you do a job you don't like or it's something you're not looking forward to doing, you can go cheer up afterwards with the goats. Right, Livies? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, they're on their bunk bed, Livies. Calling you. What are you doing? I put a shelf in yesterday. That works good for the coffee, too. The girls love their brushing. She likes it. Yeah, well, most of the time she does. They're all so quiet and peaceful when the brush is out. Must be the pink. Your brush smells like goat. What's goat smell like? Goat. It kind of smells like alfalfa pellets. Like alfalfa pellets that's been chewed up and then burnt back up and getting rechewed. Yeah, and chaff. And chaff hay. Lil's breath smells like, um, let's see, like candy. Like candy? Must be the chaff hay you're smelling. Yeah, I don't know, but it smells really, like, it smells really sweet. Let's go see if we can find the pigs. Do you see them? Yeah. You girls doing a good job over here, huh? You like being on the grass? Have you ventured down here yet? Yeah, they have. Oh yeah, you have. All the way. I see you moved some rocks. They went to here, so they still can go all the way down in there, back to their pen. Yeah, you still got lots of room to adventure in. We need to harvest some of our meat birds tomorrow, and tomorrow we have a wedding to go to in the afternoon. So this afternoon, I want to get set up so we can harvest first thing in the morning. Last year we set up down here, but it's a bit of a walk to the outdoor kitchen. So outside we do the kill cones, the scalding and the plucking, and then inside we do the eviscerating and the washing out in the outdoor kitchen. This time we're gonna try setting up right here. It'll be a closer walk to the kitchen. This season we're upgrading our killing cone setup. Last year, in previous years, I've always used a homemade setup. Coops and more cells to the stand now in different size cones. If you guys knew what those were, I don't think you'd be playing with them like that. We're using the large and small chicken cones. I believe that's the right size. But you know, when you're butchering your chickens, you either get some monster ones and then you get some small ones. But let me show you what they came out with last year. They came out with this monster cone for 50 pound turkeys. I wish I had that a few years ago. We have it now. And they also make little ones for quails. 
I'll have to make sure I lock up the chickens tonight because I don't need them over here tomorrow. Look at this guy. He thinks he like rules the roost. What are you doing? You like the king of the basement stairs? You're crazy. He's like, yep. If there's a job on the homestead that's my least favorite, it's harvesting animals. But it's one of those things you have to do it to get the best food that you can provide for your family. I mean, you can't get any better food than what we're gonna be getting tomorrow when we harvest our animals, so it's, it's a give and take. Did you find more strawberries in the garden? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Mm. How is it? So good. So good? They even better because you grew them? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. You picked out the plants last year, huh? Oh my goodness, Livies. Them goats are wanting you. Where are the chickens? The chickens are coming. But where are the pigs? They get loose? I don't know. Oh, I found them. Hey, piggies. You girls liking it in there? You're making it further and further. See you munching on that, those weeds. The pasture looks good on you. Thanks for coming along on our journey with us today and we'll see you right back here tomorrow. At Lumna Acres, hey guys, tomorrow homesteading, self-presentation, freedom. Bye. Bye.